section 28 Draupadi continued on this subject the ancient story of the conversation between Prahlad and Vali the son of Virochana is quoted as an example one day Vali asked his grandfather Prahlad the chief of the Asuras and the Dhanavas possessed of great wisdom and well versed in the mysteries of the science of duty saying was oh, sire is forgiveness meritorious or might and energy such i am puzzled as regards this o oh, sire enlighten me who has the this o oh, thou conversant with all duties tell me truly which of these is meritorious i will strictly obey whatever thy command may be thus asked by wali his wise grandfather conversant with every conclusion replied upon the whole subject and to his grandson who had sought at his hands the resolution of his doubts and prahlada said no o child these two truths with certainty viz that might is not always meritorious and forgiveness also is not always meritorious he that forgiveth always suffereth many evils servants and strangers and enemies always disregard him no creature ever bendeth down horn to him therefore it is o child that the learned applaud not the constant habit of forgiveness the servants of an ever forgiving person always disregard him and contract numerous faults these mean minded men also seek to deprive him of his wealth while sold servants also appropriate to themselves his vehicles and clothes and ornaments and apparel and beds and seats and food and drink and other articles of use they do not also hurt at the command of their master give on to others the things they are directed to give nor do they ever worship their master with that respect which is their master's due disregard in this world his worse than death o child sons and servants and attendants and even strangers speak harsh words unto the man who always forgiveth prisons disregarding the man of an ever forgiving temper even desire his wife and his wife also becometh ready to act as she willeth and servants also that are ever fond of pleasure if they do not receive even slight punishments from their master contract all sorts of vices and the wicked ever injure such a master these and many other demerits attached to those that are ever forgiving listen now o son of virochana to the demerits of those that are never forgiving the man half rat who surrounded by darkness always inflict by help of his own energy various kinds of punishment on persons whether they deserve them or not it is necessarily separated from his friends in consequence of that energy of his such a man is hated by both relatives and strangers such a man because he insulted others suffered the loss of wealth and reaped disregard and sorrow and hatred and confusion and enemies the man of wrath in consequence of his hire inflict punishments on men and obtained in return harsh words he is divested of his prosperity soon and even of life not to say of friends and relatives he that put forth his might both upon his benefactor and his foe he is an object of alarm to the world like a snake that hath been taken shelter in a house to the inmates there half what prosperity can he have who is an object of alarm to the world people always do him an injury when they find a hole therefore should men never exhibit might in excess nor forgiveness on all occasions one should put forth his might and show his forgiveness on proper occasions 
he that become forgiving at the proper time and harsh and mighty also at the proper time obtaineth happiness both in this world and the other i shall now indicate the occasions in detail of forgiveness as laid down by the learned and which should ever be observed by all ear kin hand to me as i speak he that hath done thee has service even if he is guilty of a grave wrong hand to thee recollecting his former service should thou forgive that offender those also that have become offenders from ignorance and folly should be forgiven for learning and wisdom are not always easily attainable by man they that having offended thee knowingly plead ignorance should be punished even if their offenses be trivial such crooked men should never be pardoned the first offense of every creature should be forgiven the second offense however should be punished even if it be trivial if however a person committed an offense unwillingly it had been said that examining this plea well by a judicious inquiry he should be pardoned humility may vanquish might humility may vanquish weakness there is nothing that humility may not accomplish therefore humility is truly fiercer than it seemeth one should act with the reference to place and time taking note of his own might or weakness nothing can succeed that hath been undertaken without reference to place and time therefore do thou ever wait for place and time sometimes offenders should be forgiven from fear of the people these have been declared to be times of forgiveness and it hath been said that an occasions besides these might should be put forth against transgressors property continued i therefore regard ho king that the time hath come for thee to put forth thy might on to those kurus the covetous sons of dhritarashtra who injure has always the present is not the time for forgiveness it behoveth thee to put forth thy might the humble and forgiving person he is disregarded while those that are fierce persecute others he indeed is a king who hath recourse to both each according to its time thus endeth the 28th section in the harjuna bhigamana parva of the vanah parva